Mom, Mom, I'm sorry to wake you, but... John, what's wrong, John? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Did I go to Graham Olson's funeral? No, you didn't. You were too upset. Why? Grandma, the cookies are done! cookies in the whole world. Oh, John, they smell so good. <gasps> Grandma, can I please have four, please? Just one now, honey. Dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. If you eat all your carrots, you can have some more later. Little did John know that would be his last visit with Grandma Olson. She died a week later from an unexpected brain aneurysm. To say the least, John was devastated. God have to take Grandma away. You know what, sweetie? I don't know. I don't know. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. John became angry at God and for many years to come would live his life without church and religion. Many years passed before John finally settled down and married Kay Downing. They worked together and after a couple years of dating decided it was time to tie the knot and it was time to make a move up to a better job and better pay. That day had come. The position was open and John stepped forward, but at a price. He was a specialist in his field and would be on call most evenings. It's one of our biggest clients. Hello? Yeah, this is John. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can I can be there in 20 minutes. Can I go? John's working territory included most of northern Arizona. Often calls would take him up winding narrow roads to smaller towns in the mountains. And having to work nights, falling to sleep behind the wheel was John's number one enemy. I was falling asleep. There was opportunity to move up in the company, and John just couldn't say no. Oh, it's John. Okay, I'm on my way. 
Night after night, month after month, the company took full advantage of John's willingness to work late hours. He had hopes of moving up in the company rapidly. His dreams were coming to pass. It was obvious the honeymoon was over. Kay was tired of spending nights all alone. The monsoon season had arrived in Arizona, bringing storms nightly to the mountainous areas. These storms made driving treacherous with rain, hail, and high winds conditions that made sleep driving fatal. Dreams and visions will return. I'm tired of this, John. I am sorry. Sorry's not enough. You're not married to me. You're married to that job. I would have called you, but I left my cell phone at work too. I can't take this anymore. Sweetheart, I do this for us. It's income. It's security for us. After two years of marriage, Kay was gone. John's work and the weight of other issues brought the marriage to an end. John had become a depressed workaholic with little to live for. And then one night, a most amazing thing happened. John was within a few feet from certain death. The edge of the road dropped off 1,000 feet straight down. Mom, Mom, I'm sorry to wake you, but... John, what's wrong, John? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Did I go to Graham Olson's funeral? No, you didn't. You were too upset. Why? Did you and Dad bury Grandma in a yellow dress with red flowers? Yes, who told you? No, yeah, I'll... I'll tell you later. I I'll come by. I'll talk to you then. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Yeah. 
John now knew without a doubt that his grandmother was still alive and well. The miracle that night changed John's life forever. He now walks the straight and narrow road that will take him home someday to God and his grandmother.